Hi, I'm Baron. If you're new to the channel, I do ship deep dives, buyers guides, all sorts of information on ships. So I hope you enjoy. Join our Discord and subscribe. Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Baron here. So today we're going to be going over the RSI Galaxy. Yes, it's something that I really kind of wanted to touch on. I did watch the video and I took down some notes because I found it very interesting. And since, you know, it's a new modular ship, it was actually quite interesting to go through some of the reasons why they brought this out and their reasons in the future. So it's a multi-role ship, as you all know. So whether you want to do cargo or go bounty hunting, it, this can do what you want it to do. So it's a multi-role, it's great for pyro, it's the Constellation's big brother. It's middle back section can be changed out to support various gameplay loops, and we'll go over that in a little while. So it's built on the same kind of ethos as the Constellation. And if you didn't know what ethos means, it's okay. I didn't either, and I looked it up. It's the characteristic spirit of a culture, era, or community as manifested in its attitudes and inspiration. So it's an inspiration, I guess, attitude from the, the constellation. But yeah, that's something I had to look up. So, so it's that, but it's scaled up to a larger crew size, obviously. So it has a very industrial feel compared to the previous iterations. Connie being the prime example, doesn't have much focus on combat capabilities. It's not a warship but it has weapons that it needs and everything I guess so it's obvious it has you know the classic RSI subcap feel to it it's big exposed engines with metals like titanium to complement the other colors like the grays and the blacks and whatnot they reference it as a superstructure which I kind of found interesting but I guess they're all superstructures now it also mentioned six players does that mean this is a six player cruise ship and that you know it's pretty much like a skeleton crew that it's going to be running off it also has the central bridge that looks um, onto the main part of the ship which is very interesting and I like that sort of design style especially with something like that and you know the Idris and whatnot going on from there so directly behind the bridge is the habitation area shared habs further back you have individual bedrooms and then moving again you have the captain who has its his own or her own office and bedroom behind that you have the engineering section which looks down onto the hangar area and then you have a rear loading hangar that connects onto the back of the module so the modules um, are cargo which increases the cargo space greatly of the ship you have a refinery module which has a cargo ramp which opens up and has saddlebag deposits works well with the prospector saddles obviously this is something i found very interesting so the medical modules there's two sections um, you have the center like in the center you have a lift that'll bring people up if they're injured and you can put them like they can be in a vehicle so you can get them straight into the medical wing alternatively you can use the hangar at the back of the ship and unload injured so i guess if you have a c8 r pisces or something you can then unload them into the back of the ship which again would be very very interesting to see so you have a different assortment of um, different tier medical beds for whatever injury the person may have sustained so that's another really good thing to have they haven't done a modular ship for a while and it's something that they wanted to move they didn't want to move away from sorry it helps them push the multi-crew multi-role ship sort of style since they're getting closer to being able to deliver multi-crew gameplay they want to start revisiting this again so what about modules will they ever deliver on that promise and i mean as in a generality of modules through to the carrick the endeavor um the now RSI Galaxy. There's a few out there which have like modules like the 600i, which are two different ships, but I'm talking about modules that can be swapped out on a ship. So, for instance, you have those little um, cargo like pods on the Carrick, and each individual one of those is a different module. So, what does that mean for the future of Star Citizen and genera generally the game? Like, I know we want multi crew and multi role ships. And what does that mean at the end of the day, though? I mean, does that mean that, you know, gonna, they're going to be working towards modularity? Because I know it was something they were working on for a while, but it just seems to have disappeared from the roadmap because the other priorities had changed. So what in, does this mean in the future? And, and could we expect this to be something that we can see in Pyro? Because they said this is perfect for that sort of style gameplay. So would we expect, like several different ships or they the way they were saying it is that you can actually swap the module out the back of the ship so does that in terms mean that you know before they do that will they give us three separate ships before they figure out modularity and then give us a base model like they have the retaliator base and then be able to swap those modules out on the insides because 
at the end of the day, this is a big conversation. This is something that is going to be major to Star Citizen. And for the unique ships that have modularity, a lot of people just don't realize like the power this is going to have. And a lot of people don't realize what ships have modularity and what they can do and the capabilities of this actual gameplay style. So, you know, I think people need to sit back and think about this a little bit more. I know it's not something that we're probably going to see anytime soon and people need to realize that. But hopefully we get some sort of tangible update and it comes to fruition in the near future because I don't want to see this being something that we don't see for quite a while. And it's just one of those things like, you know, certain functions in the game or the endeavor is something you just don't get an update on or it's so crazy that they just can't work on it and they just don't have the tech to do it. But that's just my thoughts, you know. Okay, so in addition onto this video, I wasn't really going to add this. Um, this is a conversation I had after with Leonthal. Um, Leonthal, <laughs> um, his link is down in the description for his channel. But I just want to go over that these two photos are of the RSI Galaxy. And we know that the Galaxy also consists of two decks. Well, from what the looks is, two decks. So I want to also note that the size of the C8X Pisces, and I thought this before... I got into this discussion, but I, you know, and I got taught a lot of stuff, a lot, a lot of stuff uh, through this. But to go off the size of the Pisces com as compared to the hangar in the back, the hangar is quite wide and quite large. That is a full size MPUV cargo. Yes, it's considered a small ship, but by any means, if you go up next to it, it's still bigger than a person, correct? So, the point that was brought to me is that the hangar in here is so large, it's, you know, it's kind of ridiculous. Because the actual hangar to the door section. opens up to the very edges of the ship, if that makes sense. And the reason I mention this is because it was brought up that, how big is this hangar? Like, how big is it? Okay. You could probably fit maybe two maybe three MPUVs across this hangar and not to give the height. That is like two, two and a half MPUVs high. And like I said, they are not a small craft. So if you look up the size of the MPUV, you will then see what I'm talking about. And I, you know, I didn't really think much of this because the height of it is 4.3 meters. And you know, this could hold a much bigger ship, well, possibly a much bigger ship than a, a Pisces. And I would like to hope so. But what does that mean for this ship in the future and future prospects? I mean, between this, I can see this ship being very worth, you know, six, 650, 700. We're gonna find out very, very soon because I'm recording this. At 11.30 my time, which in half an hour is the sh um, new update. Wait, wait, no, two days. We have to wait two days for RSI. God dang it. Okay. But just think about that for a little while. The, also, the elevator on the medical module. And they did say this, that you could drive a vehicle onto it. But it looks big enough to hold an Ursa rover. Maybe an RSI Lynx. And that's maybe where this Lynx comes into this. But I feel like this is creating a very interesting conversation and theory crafting around the community. I may have to do a deep dive on this and to sort of get into detail of everything on this ship because the structure as well, like the structure is nice, but it's also, it's weird. I would almost think that these wings here would fold out or they're just some weird symmetric I don't know. The ship has got a weird design, but it's also there to hide how like big it is and I guess um, how deep it is just to throw it off a little bit. But there's a lot of interesting things on here that people should look at. And if you have, let me know down in the comments. I keep getting the hiccups. It's kind of annoying. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this because I find it very interesting, actually. Very interesting indeed. Indeed. And to see where this conversation goes would be very interesting because you guys come up with some pretty crazy stuff. And I think, yeah, it'd be just be good to read your, your responses. But I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't leave it, like it. Leave a dislike. And we'll see you in the verse.